थैंक यू चेयरपर्सन मैम एट दी आउटसेट आई हैव टू थैंक दी ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स हु हैव गिवन वेरी यूजफुल इनपुट्स मिस्टर सुजीत कुमार मिस्टर अयोध्या रवि रेड्डी अल्लाह गारो मिस्टर कनका मेडाला रविंद्र कुमार थोड़े ही हैं मिस्टर विजय साई रेड्डी जे के वासन जी एंड आर वेरी लर्नर श्री थम्बी दुराई जी आई थिंक दोज हु आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन दी हाउस टुडे हैव एक्चुअली डिप्राइव देम सेल्स ऑफ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कशन दिस इज अ बिल विच इज गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉन्ग टर्म इफेक्ट long term outcomes and all of us each citizen of india including those sitting on the other side are going to be stakeholders to that extent this is possibly history in making when history happens we don't realize when it is written we realize that we were part of it and uh, now ironically destiny leaves it to us the choice whether to make ourselves part of the history or not those who have not i hope will not one day repent that they were not here in this house because we were actually the government was looking forward to have more constructive inputs from them as well most of the points saliently have been raised the house is not in a mood for a very long discussion and as has been rightly mentioned ever since prime minister modi took over in 2014 he has one after the other taken a number of path breaking decisions broken several taboos of the past in order to liberate india of those self made barriers so that we could have a global role and if we envisage for ourselves the amrit kal next 25 years obviously we have to live up to global parameters and that is possible only if we have the same level of competitiveness as other countries just to cite a few it was prime minister modi who unlocked the space department today you have chandrayaan you have 150 startups from the private sector which was hardly imaginable till about 5 7 years ago and that has also increased our resource pool both knowledge wise as well as finance funding similarly our atomic energy we were constrained of funds it was prime minister modi in a decision in 2014 he amended the atomic energy act and allowed it for joint funding and joint ventures today we have an atomic energy plant coming up nearby in haryana in gorakhpur which was already confined to only three four states similarly from the ramparts of red fort he spoke about startup india stand up india and made us realize that we that they, that rozgar does not necessarily mean sarkari naukri and helped us come out of that mindset from just 350 startups today we are more than 1 lakh it was prime minister modi who made us realize the importance of biotechnology in the 21st century world and just imagine india which hardly had the aptitude and culture of preventive health care gave world the first ever vaccine for covid and today from just 50 startups in biotechnology in 2014 we are up to 60 6000 so new avenues of livelihood new avenues and therefore to that extent in a single sentence i can say this anusandhan act which is coming into being from today will pave the way and will define the face and stature of india at 2047 because this will place us in that select league of developed nations i will not go much into detail but just to respond to a few points i am also glad that so much is the requirement of this new provision and so much of unanimity that it was heartening to see mr kanaka medola and uh, mr vijay sai reddy on the same page so i think one of the biggest contributions of this bill today is that he has brought two two warring horses from andhra on the same page Yes, yes, that is what he said. So, that is what he said. I think this should be researched. <laughs> And I, I'm sure for a for a research scholar like Mr. Thambi Rai, it will take another five years to conduct a research on this. But nevertheless, as was being said by Mr. Ravinder Kumar, there is no ambiguity. Actually, the rules are yet to be framed. When the rules are framed, everything will be in order. 
in fact the act has envisaged every good thing which was possible even with the other role models we have a research society in america we have a research society in some of the european countries we are among the first few and in fact when it is put into place i am sure it is going to be better than most of them because we have thoroughly studied for about 2 3 years repeated representations repeated presentations repeated uh, brainstorming on this mr uh, vijay sai reddy rightly mentioned the accountability check if you go through the details of the bill you will find that the executive council also mandated not only to monitor the progress of the different projects but also to analyze the accountability of the funding at different level stages to begin with when the funding is decided for a project whether it is required how much is it justified and then from stage to stage how best it is being put to use for which it was uh, meant and uh, as he rightly mentioned that the r&d spending was very low in this country this is one of the important issues which is going to be addressed by this bill we are going to have a budget of 50000 crore for 5 years out of which 36000 crore almost 80% is going to come from the non government sources from industry from philanthropists even from domestic as well as outside sources which is not difficult because it comes to about 72000 uh, uh, 7200 crore per year and even if we have our 14000 share we can enter into a some kind of an equity or ppp model so there is a huge huge because i personally also believe that in in case we have to grow beyond this where we have today arrived with the patronage offered by prime minister modi in the last 9 years we have to then do away with the demarcation between the private and the public sector we have to have a very holistic approach we have to give up silos we have to have an integrated supplementation of the best avenues that each of one of us have and in order to achieve that we have to also make the industry stakeholder right from the beginning and that i think is precisely one of the at the same time keeping in mind the ethos and our ancient heritage the executive council also has room for representation from social sciences from humanities so that we do not miss out while we move in the world arena we do not miss out our bharat so i think this is a bill which is going to be a turning point and yes another point which was very relevantly raised by uh, mr thambad rai ji you rightly mentioned colleges universities this is another issue being addressed it has been very consciously because as i said we studied about 3 years to work on this bill and you are right the earlier board which is now going to be non existent after this bill comes after that i am going to conclude the science and engineering research board serb that was a board which was offering funds or funding support or financial support on the basis of competitiveness which was very open fair objective as a result of which almost 65% of funding went to iits and the most technically developed institutions whereas the state universities hardly got a share of 10 to 15% of the entire funds whereas i agree with you most of the research and most of the students scholars are there in the university and therefore at the time of introduction when somebody said that this bill may not be compatible with the spirit of cooperative federalism i had to correct them to tell them that in fact we are supplementing the state universities resources so that is one issue which is being taken care of because the bill envisages that we will have a separate competition within the state universities so separate allocation exclusively for them so that they do not are not expected to compete with the higher institutions and thereby suffer a disadvantage so i think to sum up because uh, this is today not the right mood to for a long discussion so one should stop before ask to stop <laughs> we have a governing body headed by the prime minister and we have an executive council which will be headed by the prime uh, principal scientific advisor but we have a huge lot of uh, Uh, conglomeration of uh, representation from industry from academics and uh, i think it will be it will be so evenly balanced that uh, we will not deprive ourselves 
from the best of everything else. And therefore, this Anusandhan Act, uh, Anusandhan National uh, Research Foundation Bill, when I humbly request for uh, unanimous passage, I also would uh, take pride in saying that this is happening at a time when we are the members and this should have happened several years ago. I rightly agree with members. Maybe destiny wanted that Shri Modi ji should be the Prime Minister and we should be the members of the House when this historic destined thing happens. Thank you very much.